guys, Squirrel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're back here with Mailbag 255. All of this over there. You're in super slow mode? He's gonna look like I normally <laughs> moved <laughs> when he speeds it up. <laughs> All right, first package. Hi, everybody. How are you? Mailbags can only have three people now. That seems, we just can't fit seems four. So, yeah. The table got too small. Yep. Shrinking like the universe. If I get lost, Rick will be my constant. What? <laughs> what is this here? It looks like a manuscript. I think someone sent us their homework. Yeah? Okay. From Lego Pads. Well, let's see what we got. Mm. The Meta Knight. Ooh. Oh, there's a little Kirby in there. It is. Look at that. It's adorable. Oh, man. So it's Mandalorian, <laughs> Meta Knight, Kirby, Baby Yoda, crossover. That's great. Pokemon the Bad Batch. Oh, two of these are in Smash. No, three. Ah, two characters voiced by James Arnold Taylor. Yeah? You know who they are? Um, Obi-Wan. Pretty good guess. And Eric, you're not gonna get it, you fool. Why not? You won't get it. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't even know who he is. Rick might. Ah! I do! Oh, okay. <laughs> Ratchet. 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 I know who he is. Look, Look at that Lombax. Alright, Crash Bandicoot is about time, Star Wars edition. Crash Bandicoot as Ahsoka and a Coco Ahsoka skin. Oh, that's great! I love it. That is really awesome. Crash is Kanan. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. I like that a lot. Hell of some matchups here. <laughs> I don't know, Aaron. Maybe the artist got lazy or something. Eric, what happened to the background? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. He's a great... <laughs> All right, dear crew, blind wave. This is my first time sending you guys something from mailbag. I've been enjoying your content since 2019. The first videos I watched on your channel was your Avengers Endgame trailers. I really liked it. When Eric said if you were 12 when Iron Man came out, funny you mentioned it because I was 12 when Iron Man came out in 2008. Oh. So that was pretty cool to hear. I really enjoyed your reactions to the Clone Wars, Rebels, and Bad Batch, Teen Titans, Avatar, Last Airbender, Cobra Kai, Rick and Morty, and Black Sails. But my favorite from your channel, the Mandalorian reactions, because it led to some of the best moments in your channel. Thank you. Awesome. Your reaction to seeing uh, characters for the first time were great. I personally love the moment during discussion in the season two premiere. Eric wondered what Banthas eat, and Aaron responded, I don't know, fucking grass? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you. <laughs> to which everyone says, Where? <laughs> it's really fun to watch you guys Where? get so invested in the story, the characters, and the action. And I can't wait to watch season three uh, and then watch your reactions of the new season, as it's one of my favorite shows. There are a few Star Wars questions and regular questions I have for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> Looking at Tamir Morrison in interviews and the book of Boba Fett, I'm thinking to myself, maybe one day he'll play old Captain Rex. Yep. Would you like to see that? I would love to see that. Yeah. While D. Bradley Baker is best known for voicing the clone troopers, mm -hmm. did you know? Uh, did you know? Did you also know that he voiced Boba Fett in some Star Wars games and specials like The Force Unleashed One and Two, yep. Connect Star Wars, Disney Infinity 3.0, Star Tours: The Adventure Continues. Um. I definitely knew it in Force Unleashed 2. He just sounds like a clone, pretty much. Um, I tried chewing and sucking on a vanilla Tootsie Roll, and I honestly prefer chewing a vanilla Tootsie Roll. Okay. I did ask okay. my friend that question, and he thought, why not chew a couple times, then suck the rest of the flavor out? Do you have any thoughts on that? Do you just chew them? I mean, at a certain chew. point, it's too small to chew, and you just got to suck it off the rest of the way. Just finish it off by sucking. Yeah. yeah I suppose. Because if you chew and it's too small, it just gets like stuck in your teeth. And then you just swallow. It just goes up. And you could swallow the whole thing in the get-go, but... Probably. Will you guys do a reaction on Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales one day? Uh, I think you'll like it as much as the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special. I love Eric and Rick's excitement. Oh, that's, a, that's the next step. Um, 
I don't know, maybe. Most things of like what you react to is kind of falls into the maybe category if we have time or get a spot in schedules or really, really want to or whatever. I can't can't react to it. You watched it? I watched it. It was very good. <clears throat> I liked it more than the other special, honestly. Yeah. I really liked the holiday special. Look what you did. I know. I love Eric and Rick's excitement for Terry Silver. Do you have a favorite Terry Silver moment? I mean, the first thing I think of is Hot Tub Terry Silver. Yeah. I think of him behind the wall laughing to himself. Ah, that's great. Because he's not la- he's not doing it to intimidate. He's not. It's, it's, he's just enjoying himself. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> so funny. Yep. I love it. That's my favorite. <laughs> and we kicked that lady living in his house. He didn't kick her. Kick her. In his mind, he did. He kicked her. I'm glad you guys are reacting to Teen Titans as it's a show I grew up watching. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have a favorite episode so far? Ooh, there's been really good ones in this what season three that I've really liked. Um, I like the one when they were going through the television with uh, Control Freak. With Control Freak. I like Cyborg the Barbarian. Yeah, that one's good Cyborg too. Barbarian. Um, on a side note, for your Teen Titans intro, I prefer Calvin would be Robin and Aaron would be Beast Boy because I think it suits it better. But that's just me. I don't think you know Calvin well enough. He's Calvin already, is he's already more Beast Boy. One with the Beast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a couple of shows and a movie to recommend, recommend you guys to react to on the channel. The first show is a Cartoon Network show on HBO Max called Infinity Train. It's mm. an anthology series involving a mysterious train that goes infinite and how the characters deal with it. This show has fun and relatable characters, good stories, and great mystery. Interesting. Uh, good art heard. style. And overall, a great adventure. It's not done yet. Hopefully, we'll get more seasons soon on HBO Max because they have more stories to tell. If you guys enjoy great adventures and good mysteries, I think you'll really enjoy it. So Cartoon Network is on HBO Max now? <clears throat> uh, yeah. I mean, that's where we watch Teen Titans. Yeah, but that also has a WB tie to it. But I think Space it airs on Cartoon Network. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, actually, there is a, I think there is a Cartoon Network logo on HBO Max. Cool. Um, where was I? Space Ghost. The other show is a DreamWorks animated show on Netflix called Kippo and the Age of the Wonder Beast. Okay. This three season show involves a girl on an adventure in a post apocalyptic world full of animal people called Mutes. And sh- the show has an amazing art style, great characters, amazing storytelling, fantastic arcs, really good animation, great voice acting, and great action. It's literally one of my favorite shows of all time, and I think you guys would really enjoy it. And I highly recommend it. As far as a movie to recommend you guys to react to on the channel, I love your reactions to bad movies like Dragon Ball Evolution. What? Mortal Kombat Annihilation. What? Surf Ninjas. What? Star Wars Holiday Special. I understand that one. And of course, The Room. I understand that one too. So I decided that you guys should react to Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd? No, it was, it was Sto- uh, Sylvester Stallone. Starring Sylvester Stallone. If you're in the mood for enjoyable bad movies, especially Rick, then I'd give it a shot for you guys to react to. One last thing to bring up is some ideas for Lucasfilm and Marvel that I would love to see Idris Elba play a Jedi Knight in a Star Wars Ooh. movie or series. I would love to see an Indiana Jones animated series on Disney+. Plus. I would take It would take place during the first three movies, and it would be an anthology <coughs> series. They Do can they even, have the Adventures of Young Indiana Jones? Not on any oh, streaming man, anything that I can think of. Have them on VHS. Yeah. That, if you can find the adventures of young Indiana Jones they made in the... Uh, I'm still wanting them to put... In the 80s? Uh, 90s, I 90s. think. 90s. It would have had to be in the 90s. Right? Yeah. Like early 90s, though, because that had the first fully CG character in it. What did? The young adventures of Indiana Jones. It had the stained glass guy. That's mm-hmm. like the one of the first like photorealistic CG characters. I thought it was Jar Jar. Really? No. What about Reboot? They develop all that technology for the... Reboot reboots. is all CGI characters. <laughs> I think it was before reboot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I should say f- photorealism sure. in, in that regard. Because there was like... It's meant to be yeah. live action. Yeah. yeah. I am still waiting for them to put the Aladdin TV series on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. How's that not on there? I don't know. That's not on there. I don't know if there's like some kind of... Sense. Licensing thing? Rights and license problems they have? Or, I don't know. Huh? What about Timon and Pumbaa? I don't care about that. It's solid. But I'm like, I would imagine it's like the same deal, right? The same era. Type of cartoon. and Maybe. Maybe there's some kind of like, uh, what what's the syndication right kind of things yeah, where it's know. like you'd have to pay the people in it a syndication price. You need to just watch Gargoyles while you're waiting. Gargoyles is good. That's the shit. I never watched Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Um, 
They can Contain. even take the games and books as inspiration for the story arcs as well as new story arcs. I hope Lu Lucasfilm Animation can think about working on it for Disney Plus one day. Yep. And finally, since Marvel has created characters of race, gender, gays, and different ethnicities, I would love to see Marvel create an autistic superhero. It would be great for Marvel to tackle the themes of an autistic person and what he or she is dealing with, as I'm a person with autism, and it would be great for Marvel to represent the autistic community. Keep up the awesome work, and I look forward to more future reactions, and I hope you enjoy the artworks I made for you guys. Sincerely, Lego Pat. They were enjoyed. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, Lego Pat. Art tremendous. Thank you very much. And now Stop. they're in my phone. I think it's interesting that they've been, they have been doing a lot more various types of superheroes to represent more communities and stuff, which is really yeah. good. It is good. So maybe one day. If they haven't already, I'm sure there's something out there. I just don't know about Marvel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't keep up with comics. A book? Space Raptor Butt Trilogy from Hugo nominated author Chuck Tingle. Just, wait, did it say butt? But, B U T T, butt trilogy. But. That's not an accident. With his genre defining work, Space Raptor Butt Invasion, Chuck Tingle proved that even gay dinosaur erotica could be nominated for a Hugo Award, the most prestigious award in the science fiction. Nobody could have expected what would happen when the story continued. Collected here is the entire trilogy of Ooh. Chris Tingle's history-making Space Raptor Butt series. Well, let's uh, open to a random page. Okay. And is find it? a random sentence. Yep. And read it aloud. There is more clatter from the jury box again. Okay. It felt like... A real astronaut who deserves to be there, not some raptor-loving dummy. A real astronaut. That one, that sentence got me. Uh, the Stegosaurus shrugs. Not sure everything's been great here. Hmm. Let me see. Is it dangerous for the Stegosaurus shrugs? I don't know. It's got a lot of blade room back there. I've been listening to a short story that was ah. also nominated for a Hugo Award, I think, uh, yeah. called The Things. And it is John Carpenter's The Thing from The Things perspective. Hmm. It's very interesting. Hmm. Like, is he scared? They're trying to kill me! Ah! You know, I don't know. <laughs> no, he's like trying. To, I'm not, I don't want to spoil too much, but he's trying to like help humanity, like take us to the next level of evolution, sort of thing. You know. Oh, interesting. My handsome dinosaur lover walks over to the nearby cabinet and opens it up, pulling out a large metallic maintenance tie and walking over to Van. Maintenance tie. Is that like a? tie that clips on so it doesn't like get in the machinery please also check out chuck tingle's new book pounded by the physical manifestation of my friend's lack of reaction to my new favorite song when i play it for them from mewtwo made me do it well thank you mewtwo, mewtwo made me do it thank you and, or thank you mewtwo if you, ooh. <laughs> i found a sentence <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. This is definitely an erotica. This is some short stories if there's three of them in there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, Eric. Have that now. Should have highlighted it. Eric, you have a highlight. Yeah. I don't want... We could... This is mint. <laughs> Where can we put this to, like, be found one day? Let's put it on Calvin's chair for the Pokemon stream. I could do that. No, I don't know. Like, I want to, like... Somehow figure out a way to put this in like after we've left this building, like a very mean? important time capsule. But like, there's no way this could be in this time capsule. You know what I'm saying? That would be cool. Like this time capsule was from the 1800s. How did it make it in there? I want that would be great. Can we send it to space? It belongs there. It's light. That's where it came from. It came from space. A lot of the action happens there. That's true. <clears throat> and zero gravity with dinosaurs. This is from Tessa. Be great is like we have like the normies come over and like Chris has to use the bathroom. I'm like, yeah, sure, it's right over there. A, and it's like sitting yeah. on like a little stand. Like, oh, what's it? Oh, what's it? Butt trilogy. Huh. Poop and butt trilogy. Oh, let me see read this. So dream like, the hell's this? Pretty good. And he just, he just, well, he just reads the whole book. We need to put a book cover on it though. <laughs> oh, that'd be even better. Yeah, so like good. someone's using the bathroom and they don't know what it is and it just what the says fuck fucking. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, Guide to the universe. Oh, okay. And you start reading like an astronaut storybook or something like that. And, yeah. the, and the, this dinosaur just pounds this guy in the ass. 
<laughs> All right, from that to this. Hey, Blind Wave. It's Hi. Tessa, your little hobbit here. Hi, Tessa. I am writing, and I should say typing, uh, to you all for the first time. I've only just been sending you all the uh, all some random and fun presents to you. Uh, by the way, this letter might be a bit longish, so sorry about that. Let me just say that you guys are probably one of my favorite YouTube channels. I well, first you. discovered you when I was looking for reactions to Captain America Civil War trailer like six years ago. Webs. I've been watching you guys ever since. With how much I watch and how often I rewatch a lot of the videos, I feel like you guys have become my friends, even though we don't know each other. I do, however, believe uh, I have a couple of things in common with each of you. First, uh, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Even if it's just simple things. First, Eric. My dad first introduced me to the whole galaxy far, far away. Star Wars. Even though I'm not an expert like you, smiley face, I still love seeing you nerding out to some of the best Star Wars uh, has to offer. Very excited to see the new <coughs> Kenobi series on Disney+. Yes. Plus. I will have a front row seat seeing your guys' reactions to my favorite character, who I have very deeply missed. P.S. I also love the God of War video game, too. That's why I specifically got you the Blades of Chaos keychain a few mailbags back. Mm -hmm. uh, give Obi lots of pets for me, and thank you for letting me geek out with you. May the Force be with you. Rick, first off, I hate Candyland, too. Every reasonable person does. During the pandemic shutdown, I've been more into board games and puzzles. Yes. I'm currently working on the Beatles Yellow Submarine puzzle that my dad got me for my birthday a few years ago. I just never put it all together until now. Cool. I 100% forgot how relaxing puzzles are. Even though they can be hard sometimes, it's just nice to shut your brain off, listen to music, and do what I like to call treasure hunting. So, I just want to say thank you for bringing back my inner peace and making me bring out all of my board games so that I can finally beat my sister at Uno. Oh, no. I have to co-op puzzles, because I love doing them, but I can't touch the pieces. You're, they're not made of metal? But they're too small. Too small for what? My my body. <laughs> so I point, like, that one goes there. All right, uh, here's Calvin. He, Calvin's not here today, but we will make sure he reads this, too. He says, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Tessa says, uh, Zip Strip! Long story short, you've become my spirit animal. See, Beast Boy, animal. The reason being is because you are not afraid to make everyone laugh the most random times and making funny noises and faces. Uh, and you're loud like me, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite moment uh, of you was black, the Black Sails vlog where you're dressed up as pirates and walk around Ohio. You guys made me laugh the entire video. Everyone else did, of course, too, um, specifically for Calvin. Uh, keep your personality forever and never stop making me and other people yell zip strip when opening a package. No. I hope to eventually meet all four of you, but especially you, Calvin. You can say that because you can turn down the volume. It's yeah. loud. <laughs> and lastly, Aaron. Last. I have a fear of needles too. Yeah. But seeing you lose your shit over any needle scene in a show or movie is slowly curing my fear of it. Oh, uh -huh. well, you're Doing welcome. Good. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're joining the world of service. Like, now they see needles. And it's it's funny. funny. Yes. <laughs> I also love your reactions. I freak out a nurse. <laughs> you bring up the needles and they just start laughing. <laughs> I also love your reactions uh, that you do with Melanie. Sorry if I spelled her name wrong. You didn't. You got it right. Um, you both are couple goals and are really sweet together. I especially love that you made her watch The Haunting of Hill House, which is one of my favorite reactions that you both did. I also love how funny you are too. Both you and Calvin have the best time together. I rewatched the drunk Overwatch video just because it has you two in it. That was a moment. good one. Uh, don't ever change either. Your fear of needles is what makes me relate to you. And hearing you laugh always makes my day. Say hi to Melanie for me. Yeah. Also, we'll Dragon. Oh, I didn't know. How come you guys get to do it? I didn't get to do it. Well, you know. Dragon! Well, that's all for me for this letter. <laughs> if I figure out something else to write, I definitely will do so. But for now, I bid you all farewell and leave you with my favorite quote from Bilbo Baggins himself. Oh. It's a dangerous business, blind wave, going out your door. You step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no telling where you might be swept off to.
So I just need to keep my feet. Do people lose their feet? That's the key to not getting lost. Like people just like cut them off? Especially hobbit feet. Giant and hairy. Looking forward to all your future reactions and more adventures to come. Love you all from your little hobbit, Tessa Underhill. Thank you, Tessa. Thank you, Tessa. Very nice. We'll make sure Calvin hears about that too. Yep. Indeed. Ooh, you got it, Aaron. The Ooh. Atlas of Middle Earth. Ah, oh, cool. Ooh. Show me where was Gondor when the Westfold fell. I love there. Atlases. Oh, where it always is. <laughs> Out of the frying pan. More Tolkien Legendarium. Everyone knows the famous Middle Earth map. This book yep. has so much more. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy From Aways. I enjoy. Very cool. Thank you, Aways. We appreciate it. I don't know anything oh, about Oh, man. It's even got battle um, Formations maps. and stuff? Yeah. Very cool. Is this like wow. source from Tolkien himself, or is it people like trying to figure out what the stuff is based off things in the book? Uh, quality and accuracy rests entirely with the author. The work had never been completed without others. Mm-hmm. I people don't know, Tolkien actually, he's a pretty decent artist, but he drew all those maps himself. Drew them all. There's a, also a really cool edition of The Hobbit where he drew Smaug on top of his hoard of gold. It looks really cool. Smaug. Smaug. Wait, was that Smog? Smog! 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 Looks like the author drew these maps. Okay. As far as I can tell. Sure. Still awesome. Very, very cool. You know, you didn't draw them? Edoras. Me. <laughs> I would Karen never Wynn Fonstad. <laughs> very cool. Eric, are you going to draw maps? I can draw maps. I've messed with, like, the map creator things for, like, uh, like D&D. Thing yeah, I can stuff. use tools to make maps. But just by hand. I can't draw a map. I can't draw a dude. I can't draw my name. Um, there's a really cool way to draw maps where you just like get like piece of white, piece of white paper and then have like coffee and just like, spill the coffee and then there's your like just your draw around mass. it and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you have coffee all over your map. Well, yeah, but I mean that will will kind of like stain it, and make it look cool. You gotta wait for it to dry then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You mean you kind of like spill a bit and blow it and let it like kind of make the landmass for you? Have you done that? No. Oh. How do you know? Seen it done. Like on YouTube? No. Oh. In an art class. <laughs> In the park. Yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering. <laughs> no, breakfast. That was messy. It's fun giving things to Rick that are all taped up. Yeah. And he's like, no! It's like I'm an octopus or a crow, and you're giving me a test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you figure this one out? <laughs> Ooh. I see a Pikachu. Oh, that's very shiny. Oh, what is that? I think it's a card sleeve. <gasps> oh. I think those are for me. I have a letter. And stickers. Stickers! Let's see who they're for. Mudkip! Mudkip. Who it's from. Yes, it is a mudkip. Mm. And a great ball and an ultra ball. Dear Blind Wave, my name is Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York City, and have been watching you guys since 2016. Well, thank you. I'm not sure what was the first video I watched from you guys, but it was either Eric and Calvin's Game of Thrones reaction mm. or Eric and Aaron's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. reactions. Mm. Or it was when the Civil War trailer was released, mm. and I Another was what a coincidence. Binge watching people's reactions to the Spider-Man reveal. Webs. Did That's... you see Leon's? That was always one of my favorites. Yeah, <laughs> I remember Eric and Aaron's reaction being something of them. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and I personally think that he's the greatest fiction character to exist. Hey everyone, I love it. I'm also somewhat of a huge Pokemon fan. Yellow was my first Pokemon game. Mm. Good one. Yeah, it was a great one. You get all the starters? Yep. Uh, With Heart Gold slash Soul Silver being my favorite. Jesse and James in there. Heart Gold Soul Silver is really good too. Turn and join the randomizer. Indeed. I'm currently watching through your guys' random <laughs> miser <laughs> and enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> good. <laughs> I watch you guys on Twitch. My username is. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Is it Muhammad? Well, it's something the Saiyan Prince. Hmm. I can't read the first bit. Okay. Anyways, Aaron, I have been watching your Pokemonality videos, which gave me the idea of this gift. Oh, you can well, open you. them or open them on the next Pokemonality video. Thank you for the great content, and you guys provide. I firmly believe you will 
reach a million subscribers by the end of this year. Yeah. P.S. Aaron, huh. what is your favorite Pokemon movie? Movie? Um, I haven't seen all of them. If you're going for animation, I'd probably say the um, the first movie. Pokemon the movie. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well, it's Pokemon. Uh, what Mewtwo Strikes Back? Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're talking, if you're talking about just my favorite movie in general, probably Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu's I, good. I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I yeah. loved like the the way Bill the world Nighy felt and stuff. Pokemon movie. Yeah, it's great. It was really good. Mine would either be the first movie mm-hmm. because Mewtwo was a great villain, yep. or uh, Pokemon three because Charizard. Of Pokemon Forever, of that, I can't do it. He's trying. <laughs> it's very faint. <laughs> ending with Professor Oak. Mind fuck ending with Professor Oak. Okay, I know which one you're talking about from what he's saying, and I won't say exactly what it is in case people haven't seen it and stuff too. But yes, no, it's really, it's a really good movie. <laughs> yes. It's actually probably one of my favorites, and it has probably one of my favorite Pokemon ever in that movie. PSS, what happened to your Spider-Man playthrough? I've seen Calvin's playthrough, um, but not yours. Um, I think it was before really starting to like keep things highlighted and putting mm-hmm. them on another channel and all that kind of stuff. So some of that stuff got lost of time because it was only up for like 60 days, and we didn't save a lot of that stuff. So maybe it's on a backup hard drive from when we streamed. Yeah. But there's just a lot, a lot of, a lot of files of that to go through to try to find. I started going through some of it, but it's slow. We will keep looking. Purchased from Etsy shop. Gotta collect them all. CA. What you got? No, I'll open these up here. I'm behind on videos for the Pokemonality thing. Yeah, you still have a gift from last time, right? Yeah, I do. I have, it, it's sitting at home still, actually. I would take them out part at a time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, man. Maybe if I turn them this way. Oh, man. Ooh, quite a few. These are cards, and there's things that are sleeved. Oh. And, uh, oh, and there's codes. For the online game? Yeah. Mm. All right, that's all of those. And we gotta get your little camera. I know. But right here. <laughs> Do you want me to film it? Oh, what it is that? Gold Suicune GX. That is... I don't know what this one comes from, though. Very shiny. There were some gold cards and stuff that came from um, some of the Ultra, like, collector boxes. Yeah, get your film, 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 it. film it. I'll do it. <laughs> we're going to do a little Pokemonty video right now. In Blind Wave. But if you want more, you got to go to Pokemonty's YouTube channel. Do you good? Yep. So there's Suicune. We have Crustle, Hippopotus, Temple, a Japanese card. I thought I saw a Japanese card because the backs of them are very oh, different. Cool. Okay. So we have that. Let Leo, Cutifly, Swablu, Bear Tick, Walrein, Slackoth. These are from different sets too. It's not all the same thing. Here's a Reverse Hollow Chimchar, mm. Bagon. Another Japanese as a Mawile, Pumpkaboo, Tentacruel, Hippo Down, mm-hmm. uh, Ampharos, C Dot, Pikachu, oh, oh, Tentacruel, and Agatha, a Siwaddle. I love some of the names of the moves. Gentle Slap. Yeah. Quillfish, Reverse Hollow Rare Candy, Old Cemetery, Cast Form, Weedle. Scoliopede, Snow Runt, Crabrawler, Flannery. I like her. She's one of my favorite gym leaders. Crabominable, Gigalith. We have Energy Cards, your Mask, a Swirlix. Oh, here's a Chandelier. Looks like holographic Chandelier. Oh, I want to swim. I think that's from, from Steam Siege. Sphiel, Tropius, Squovit, Scroll of the Skies. Oh, Cub Fu. I haven't seen him from Chilling Rain. That's sweet. Ghastly, Nidorino, Zuelus, Shieldon, ooh, and a Lapras Rainbow GX. Holy Look shit. Look at that. Wow. That's great looking. That's awesome. This is from uh, the Sun and Moon set, I believe. Yeah. I'm trying to remember all the symbols and stuff, but no, that's really cool. I have a Lapras from, oh, shoot, what was it from? I'm just a Lapras Rainbow. I, I want to say it was Sword cool and Shield card. base set, maybe. Yeah. But I don't remember. I'm gonna have to look and see too what I'm curious on this Suicune GX, what that's from. Oh, it's Chungus Pikachu! Fat Pikachu is just superior in every single way. Is he? Yeah. Just he's just 
the perfect form of a Pokemon. Look how many cranks are in his tail. So many. There's a lot. That's because he's a Gigantamax Pikachu. Mm -hmm. The Suicune, though, is really cool. I don't know what it's from. I need to find out. But, yeah, there's uh, there's some, uh, like, metal cards. Yeah. That are, like, gold metal cards. Uh, the Celebrations one had a Chunkachu and a Charizard. But I have yet to open mine up. What are you doing? It's I don't, a very... It sounds good. Yeah. I, like I said, I don't know what it, what exactly it is as far as the gold cards. I haven't yeah. seen any of the gold cards in person, so I don't know what that like, one's from. It feels like a... Like a card, but it feels like metallic. I mean, I'm gonna look real quick because I'm curious. Like my favorite is crab, crab omnibble. Crab omnibble with double lariat. What gen is crab omnibble from? He was in Sun and Moon. Okay. So what? Seven. Gotcha. Gold Before it stops card. to think, it just starts pummeling. There are records of it turning back avalanches with a fury of punches. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Yep. He just starts hitting stuff. He's That's great. great. He I comes like from him. the little crab brawler guy. And turns into him. It does pay to uh, to read your Pokedex every once in a while. I was playing Arceus, and Jancy came to the same mission, but there's a mission where it's like, oh, we're over at the beach, there's this little kid playing with Drifloon. And she's like, oh, I better go see what's going on. And I'm like, no, no! Run Save towards that it. child! Because I'm in the Pokedex. <laughs> Drifloons just take kids <laughs> and leave. <clears throat> and you never see them again. It's, it's terrible, crazy. it's terrifying. Crazy. I'll do this, put this here. Good put, luck getting them back in. Put them back in here so that they don't get all messed or lost. Oh, here's your whatever. stickers. I wanted them, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a... There were some things uh, in Raid every once in a while. People would be like, what's a pokey fact? I'm yeah. Like, Fucking pokey fact. Pokey I fact. I don't know. I used the Spoink one last night. Yeah. That I told Rick. Wow. He was like, that's... that's they were like, that's sad. It's terrible. Because Spoink. Spoink is like a little pig. And, yeah. he, and he, when he bounces, he pumps his heart. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if he stops bouncing, he dies. Yep. Um, but the other one that I looked at that I was going to use in case they asked for another one was uh, uh, Smeargle. You know him? Mm -hmm. He looks kind of like a dog with, with, a, with like a paintbrush paint tail. tail, right? Yeah. He uh, secretes a liquid out of his tail. And that's what why his tail looks like a paintbrush. Mm -hmm. But it changes colors based on his emotion. Oh, cool. So he's kind of like painting with his emotions. What's the one about uh, Paris? Paris Parasect. Parasect? Yeah. Well, once he evolves, it's the mushrooms in control, and the creature itself is dead. Because yeah. like it's like yep. crazy. Yeah, its eyes are like all white. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Here, that Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. You. We appreciate it. But yeah, no Pokemon stuff. Uh, I've just been behind on. I, I have to find time with Melanie to film, and then I have to edit the yep. videos. And it just takes me a long time, and then sometimes I don't get to it. Okay. So there'll, there'll be more. Oh, we need to teach your children. That could be the new chores. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. A life skill. Yeah. There. Oh, I just made fine editor. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I could always try that too. Oh. Okay, we're continuing on our collection of Star Wars The High Republic Ooh. with Tempest Runner. Tempest. A Tempest Runner. Mm -hmm. And that looks like one of the uh, the nil that they've talked about, which is like the new Viking-like... Uh... This is a script. Oh, it's in script form. That's yeah. cool. Hmm. I don't know who this is from. <laughs> what? The way, the way you did it, like, I don't know who this is from, you just tossed it. <laughs> but we thank that person. I think that's what I was waiting on. I was like, there was nothing else to it. You're like, I don't know who this is from. You I don't know who this is from. Threw it away. Very cool. Oh, really cool. I've never seen a Star Wars book in, like this. Yeah, I know. It's very interesting. You have the cast lists? <laughs> yeah. Huh. It's a proper script. Yeah, it's a proper script. All right. They're trying to do like Shakespeare. Do something interesting. Very cool. I wonder why it's well, thank form. Well, I mean, Tempest is a Shakespeare play, so maybe it's a riff off that. Hmm. I saw a thing talking about Hamlet, being like, Hamlet's plot and story is so convoluted that the main character gets kidnapped by pirates, and it's not a main plot point. But I mean, that's also just Julius Caesar's life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair. It's some crazy shit. <laughs> and then you don't want to know what he did with those pirates later. Yep, you do. It's great. <laughs> Even though he's kind of like 
pound around with him for a bit. <clears throat> this has my name on it. I just I went Open to grab it. I went to grab a new package when I did I looked down here and I like, oh my name's on that and yeah. I looked at this and I'm like oh my name's on this your name's really on that the big white one has your name oh, too oh wait I forgot yeah there's this thing over here too yeah, the, well that one but also that one yeah that was the one I just saw yeah I guess I'll do this one first and I'll put that one there okie dokie this is actually from last week yeah right last two weeks uh, but yes yeah last last mailbag oh is it Moon Knight. It is. Look at that. Moon Knight comes out for next us this coming week. week, right? I know so little about Moon Knight. Good. You will learn. Like I don't know what to expect. And you will love. Like Melanie was asking about it, I was trying to describe to her, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know, I feel like it might be kind of like anti-hero or kind of like, you know how Venom has like, there's there's Eddie Brock, mm -hmm. but then there's like another entity yeah. that is the Venom kind of thing. I think it might be kind of like that, you yeah. know, in a way. But I don't really know. I can't wait to watch it. I'm excited. I like the shirt, though. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, when people see this, they will have probably seen the first episode of the day. Oh, Eric. What? Have... Can you tell what it is by the weight? I hope and pray. I hope and pray. Ah. Ah. Yes! Ah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be done with it tomorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> Number 10. 10. Thank God. Enjoy from Guts. Guts! Thank you, Guts. A simple man with few words. That's all you need to say. Yep. I've probably read 25, 30 manga series in my life. This is definitely the number one. I don't know how Rick did it. What? I don't know. There's, maybe it was the angle of the light. There was something you did where, like, you touched it, and then I watched, like, color change back to, from white to black. Is that temperature? <laughs> I have a little bit. <laughs> like, what? what happened? <laughs> well, thank I'll you. see if I can... Turn see? it to the light. Like, you gotta find a good... Yeah, right there. A Maybe reflection. There. Uh. Yep. Kinda. Uh, it's gone. <laughs> I tried. Very cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> this will be enjoyed greatly. Oh, oh. And it's very satisfying to go back into our library and seeing what will now go up to ten of these books. Who uses the encyclopedia? No one. Little well, no one. There's a Wikipedia. All right. So there's names on stuff. So I'm gonna give that one to you. Okay. My whole like grow going bigger is gonna be all off the kilter. Mm. Sometimes great gifts come in small packages. That's what I've told him. Never mind. Oop, Clark. Mm hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I see a word, Eric. This like. This is like a. From. I don't know, the, but. From Showtime? It, it looks like a thing from Showtime. Dexter New Blood is what it's from. Uh, from Paramount Home Entertainment. Huh. huh. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we did Dexter. It's yeah. been off for a bit, but uh, we got some crazy Dexter oh. stuff in here, including What's this uh, Dexter New Blood. Tonight's the night. Yep, tonight's the night. <laughs> we got a hoodie. Sweet. A nice hoodie. A, a uh, beanie. Uh, short, yes. We got Dexter New Blood Showtime Blu -ray. tin. Blu-ray. Yeah. Tin. So, I, I mean, tins. we're celebrating that it's actually coming on home release. Yeah, this Sweet. came out uh, March, includes March 22nd. Is when this came out, so it's available everywhere. Gotcha. 30 minute featurette on there as well. Yeah, if you at any point you liked Dexter, you should definitely watch this last It season. was very, very yeah, fun. I liked it. You're in for a bloody good time featuring every shocking episode from the Chilling Showtime original special yeah. event series. This four disc, four disc collection includes bonus content and an exclusive behind the scenes featurette. We Sweet. hope you enjoy the enclosed limited edition Blu ray steelbook and a special map. Ooh. Should I open All right. it? Um, there's a uh, press release there too. I think the map. Is that it? Here. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Open oh, this. Thank you to Paramount for thinking of us. It's already framed and everything. Oh man, the art style reminds me of God damn it, what's the name of that game? Where you can ski in the Yeti attacks you? Ah, <laughs> no, that's that's also good. <laughs> Oh, cool. So huh. we have a map here of uh, where right, it takes right. place. Mm -hmm. 
That's cool. At Iron League. I have to look it up. It's going to drive yeah. me crazy. Tonight's the night. Very cool. Look at this. And if you look closely, you can see our reference footage of us that you're seeing. <laughs> Reflected, but very cool. A puzzle agent. Puzzle agent? Yeah. Okay. This guy. Sure. I, I can see it. Hmm. I don't know. Well, this is awesome. As an exclusive 30 minute feature that takes you behind the scenes of the casting crew. That's cool. Wearing your hoodie? Yeah, what did I say? Hoodie. I said hoodie. Yeah. That's what I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a beanie. Beanie. Yeah, that's cool. Toboggan. No, toboggans <laughs> have a little ball yeah, on top, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that's the rule. Well, know, thank can you. I pull off wearing beanies? Yeah, I always feel like I'm not a hat person. My head's too big. But no, you get. I have the beard. You, you get know. jacked. Have the beard. Be great. When you guys do shoulder shrugs, do you feel like an idiot? No, there's I feel like about, God. I'm going to die because I do. There's ladders. something about the way, like especially if I look too closely in the mirror, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I'm mm. like this. But my shoulders are also my biggest part. I think. Sure. Got gotcha. biggest part. Yeah. Like I, I try to do chest and chest, and the chest never grows. My shoulders just grow more somehow. I just put these down here. <laughs> well, this is really cool. Thank you very much. Thank you to Paramount. This is awesome. Sending that. But yeah, this yeah. came out March twenty second too. So cool. if you haven't seen, I I enjoy that a lot. I think it does a lot more for what the end of the it does. initial Dexter series yep. did. Where did they give us a map instead of a switchblade? I think that's appropriate, Rick. We no one needs a switchblade. That was a uh, straight laser. Or that. No, that's great. Thank, Thank you very you. much. This has my name on it too. It's a Venusaur. Whoa, Aaron. Oh. Venusaur. Look at that. Nice. Have you had one of these? No, I don't have one of these. This is sweet. It has Sun and Moon, Darkness of Blaze, and Battle Styles in it. Well, Can't damn. Tell if that's Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse or not, it might be. Now, do you? Like, do you open these? I have a mixture. Um, I've bought, like, two of a lot of things so that Melanie and I could have both. But then I've also started kind of buying a mixture of either having two and we open one and we keep one closed. Mm -hmm. Or we both open one and we leave one closed. I also have, like, I have a few of these boxes where I just have three of them and haven't done anything with them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't opened them or closed them or nothing. So sure. I can always open them in the future, too. But, no, my, uh, my shelves at home, like, I keep getting stuff. And we haven't necessarily filmed some of the newer things I want to film. You're so like, accruing. They're just, yeah, just there. Yeah. So every once in a while, I'm like, Melanie, let's open a booster pack. And I, we'll just each grab a booster pack for the night and we just open one. So I got a, uh, last night, I got a Flapple V, which is really cool. And it's just like a, I don't know. You, you, you know do that Flapple, just right? off camera or on camera? It was just off camera. I thought about, like, maybe I should do it for, like, do you, like on the hope you don't get anything good? Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. Well, last night, I got a Flapple V, and the night before, we got a full art Melanie trainer card, which okay. they were both from Sun and Moon sets and stuff. Yeah. Flapple comes from Applin, which is, like, a little apple, and it has, like, a worm that comes out of it. Okay. But really, the worm is, like, a dragon. And then it okay. can evolve two different ways depending on, I think it's like the pie you give it or the apple you give it or something like that. I think it's like a sweet apple or a sour apple. Mm -hmm. One is Flapple, which is like a flying dragon and it busts out of the apple and its wings are made from the apple crust and stuff. Okay. And it flies. The other one is Apple Ton, which is a big giant dragon on four legs and he's slow and walks, but the top of his, his body looks like an apple pie. Apple, apple pie? That's what it looks like. Man. It's called Apple Ton. But this I do not have One at all. Pie. Opened or closed. Nothing. Sweet. This is really cool. I think you've talked about this one before. I mean, I have a side goal. Because, like, I'm trying to get all the low collections, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to get every Bulbasaur. Because I'm, like, I'm not collecting all the sets right now. I'm trying to get some of the newer stuff, sure. some of the really old stuff. And then maybe I'll work my way through in between. But at the same time, I want to get all the different Bulbasaurs they have. And there's, like, I think like 28 of them or something like that. So, thank you so much. I don't know who sent this. I think you were too excited and you threw the bag box. So I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> it's so hard to find Pokemon sometimes now, too. It's just so hard. Not every Friday at 3 p.m. where we play the Pokemon Gen 2 randomizer. Every Friday. Every Forever! Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it says pull to open, but I feel like it is lying. <laughs> Star Wars something. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars uh, Rebels. 
The Arts. Oh, cool. The, the Art of Star Wars Rebels. Star Wars oh, Rebels. sweet. That's cool, too. Yep. We got that poster when they announced this book. Remember that, Aaron? Yes. Oh. Someone open it so I can see if they have good hair in any of them. What? I'm curious I mean, of what could have been. I mean good hair. <laughs> All this... Rick, you can watch the, the, the animation style of Berserk and appreciate that. Oh. But the hair is what is too... That's not enough. You need hair. The animation style of Berserk is great. The actual animation in I mean, parts is lacking. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, the drawing is not what I'm targeting. <laughs> it's more of like, oh, they're fighting. Sure. <laughs> oh, no, what's going to happen? <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing here. Spoil me, right? You, You've watched the show now. Rebels now. Ooh. Those of you oh, that, that are on our <laughs> Patreon can can watch that. Rick has now seen all of Star Wars Every Rebels. Man, this really brings me back to that one video game I worked on that never got released. Bindu. Bindu. He is the one in the middle. Bindu was inspired by large-scale puppets in movies like The NeverEnding Story, yeah. explains Plunkett. Luke Harrington worked on the design as we broke down Bindu's layers, his body... Coral carapace and fur. The plating on the body works like camouflage. Sweet. It does, because it kind of blends into the environment. Yeah. Ooh, is that cave? I remember that episode. Yeah. Yep, one of the best. Me and the kids and family just watched that episode. Mm-hmm. This this Friday? T- today! Today's Friday. Today yep. is today, Friday. Today! Not for your today, but our today. Uh, we're going to be watching Ooh. the last three episodes of season two. Ooh, Twilight so, of the Apprentice. Yeah, I'm excited for that. So you guys watched like three at a time? Uh, it depends on how they're all feeling and what they're doing. Yeah. Coulson one day was like, he was like playing Fortnite. Like, we're going to start playing. He goes, go and start without me. And we're like, all right. Like, I don't want to force them to watch. They don't want to watch. But then like, Leon's like, all right, well, we watch two. And Kanan's like, I don't want to watch any more without Coulson. I want to leave him behind. And then Leon's like, I want to watch two more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, wait. Look at this black viewing. That's cool. I huh. like that. I just really like the coloring of it. This is awesome. Oh man, I love Lothal. Mm-hmm. The plains of Lothal, and the so environment, cool the looking. city. So Ralph the... McQuarrie. Mm-hmm. Well, it's so great to just like <sighs> deep dive into a planet mm-hmm. in Star Wars. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, so much of the movies and stuff cover Tatooine, and I feel like we keep learning more and more about Tatooine. But like all of Rebels, like they go to a few other places and stuff. There's like what Grell and random places in space and stuff they do, but so much of it is about Lothal and mm-hmm. how important it is to Ezra and how it was important to all oh, the Emperor has an interest in this planet. And the Republic and, as yeah, well. Yeah, and it just keeps going. And That's the Hondo animatronic at Galaxy's Edge. Oh, that looks pretty cool. That yeah. looks really good. Mm-hmm. I love his jacket. Yeah, and he, I mean, like, I say animatronic and you think that he's, like, doing like this. Like Chuck E. Cheese? It really feels like a guy up there moving around. His it's jacket really looks like he's coming out in New Japan Pro as a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's awesome. <laughs> we can refer to this when we're looking at Inquisitors in the new Kenobi series and being like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. Stop turning the pages, Eric. We'll look forever. This is Ralph McQuarrie's I know. Art. We'll keep, if you keep turning the pages, we'll look forever. We'll be like, oh, look at that. <laughs> Stop it. Entertainment Earth. Ow. Just me? Yeah. What have we got from Entertainment Earth here to Blind Wave? Ooh. Power Rangers. Um, not right just there. the Power Rangers. Well, we had green and we had red and we had white. So is it like a blue or a yellow or black? Or are we looking at like Megazords or weapons or something? It's still Rangers. So it's the Power Ranger. It is the Pink Ranger and the Ninja Turtle Yellow Ranger. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> When these were coming out, Aaron, I think I showed you these, didn't I? Like, dude, look at these, like, Ninja Turtle Power Rangers. And if you like that, you're really going to love the Leo and Don Power Rangers. (laughs) That's Blue Ranger, Black Ranger. Look at his axe. Right? The the Yellow Ranger has a head swap for for Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. But then, like... Well, that's closest to orange, I Yeah, suppose. but then Kimberly yeah. just switches to Kimberly. Yep. Yeah. But both of them switch to turtles. Yep. Well, there's only four turtles, and there's more Power Rangers, yeah. right? Sure, yeah. I mean, unless... Well, unless you're going with yeah. the next generation, whatever it was. Uh, next Mutation, I think is what they called it. There's a they yellow had, one, right? Well, they had Venus de Milo. And, and there's a female one, too. Yeah. There was, there was Leo, Don, 
uh, Mikey and Raph, and then there was Venus to Milo, yeah. which was the female turtle they brought into that. And then those ones, they had crossover with the Power Rangers in space, so you had five and five. And now in IDW, there's a yellow one, right? There's a yellow one in that? I don't know. I don't know the comic stuff. I think so. I'm really bad with comic stuff. This, this is awesome. awesome. Does he get his battle axe? Battle axe. That axe is sweet. I badly want to oh, see some type is. of movie or TV show where it's the turtles and they like look at the camera and they put their hands behind their back. And it was, it's more of a time. Cowabunga! Too. <laughs> they move more. I mean, now you're just falling into the Japanese power yeah. or Japanese Ninja Turtles. Remember mm-hmm. that? Oh yeah. Like they were Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Then they morphed into like bigger, buff, yeah. like. Uh, street Shark Ninja Turtle kind of things. And then they all morphed into a giant turtle that was like their Megazord. He's a sweet. And there was a fairy. It could be the Teenage Mutant Power Rangers. Teenage Mutant Power Turtle. Rather than Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Teenage, Teenage Mutant, Mutant Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. This is pretty cool. The Leo one is interesting because like he has his like lance, I, uh, but the lance is split into two yeah. so that he has like the, the Leo swords, right? Yeah, and but then they, the battle axe is longer to be more of like Donatello's staff, but it still has an axe on it. The swords kind of look like the Red Ranger's sword when they're separated. Mm. I have to find it because I actually saw at the toy show this line, and the cool. Do you know what the coolest one is? The coolest combination. I'm guessing Splinter. Um, well, I, I didn't see Splinter, but it could be probably <laughs> the Red Ranger with Raph. It's probably a thing they uh-huh. have, right? Oh, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Are you line up. What's the coolest? Co- is it a ranger and a and a turtle? Is it Shredder? It is Shredder. Okay. Okay. So Shredder, Shredder and, and Lord Zed. That seems like the most logical combination, right? You would think, but it's Shredder Goldar. and the Green Ranger. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> it's really cool. That makes sense too, I guess. <laughs> like, I saw that. I'm like, holy crap! The 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 boys, uh, uh, my nephews, they don't they didn't understand why it was so cool. <laughs> you did great. Yeah. I love this line. It was really cool. I do think in some of the comics for the Green Ranger, they brought back like another Green Ranger. So there's like a yeah. there's like a White Ranger Tommy. Sure. But then like the Green Ranger yeah. is someone else now too. Oh, this is okay. I was like, that looks like April O'Neil. Yeah, it's it's April O'Neil. Oh, oh that is April. That. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. That makes so this is all those sense. turtles as Rangers. Yeah. April O'Neil is the pink one because they need a fifth one. Yeah. And then you have Tony uh, Watts. Mikey is yellow, and then. What? Leo is the blue. Blue. Is it Donnie is black? Yeah, Donnie. Raph can be the red, red ranger, ranger then. Sure. Um, nice. I guess that makes sense. And then you have the green ranger being Shredder, Shredder which is weird though. But He's not. Bad. But bad then you gotta make ranger. him good. Well, then you don't have to. Yeah, you do it. But no. you, know, you have to make him good. You gotta do that. Maybe Casey Jones is the white ranger? I mean, you don't have to now, and then you get Lord Zar- 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 Zarkon? Lord Z- uh, Lord Zed. Uh. Zed. No, not Lord Zed. Uh, Lord Zarkon, I think is what they called him. It was Tommy. So in the original show, Tommy gets saved and turned to the White Ranger, right? Yep. In the comics, they changed it to where like, when he doesn't get saved, it's like an alternate timeline thing. Mm. He then takes the power of the White Ranger and the Green Ranger and merges them together to keep his power and is a bad guy named like Lord Zarkon. Hmm. He's pretty badass. Sounds and cool. Splinter and Zordon merge and it's just like a big rat in a tube. Could be. Uh, David Farrell, a toy loss. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. That, that's literally just what we're talking about then, yep. of Power Ranger Turtles. Yep. Okay. Benjamin. There's so a many lot of stickers. stickers. Yeah. Oh, it says Elliot. Elliot. Look on the other side. It says Aaron. Aaron. Yes. A lot of effort put into that. A lot of stickers. I love these stickers. <gasps> no flamingos. Hmm? That's on the inside. Should I just open up Flingos fly out? <laughs> There's a sticker for all the starters of Gen nice. 1. Nice. Oh, I didn't think he was in the stickers. It's a squirtle. Oh, oh. Squirtle, squirtle. Fuck him. He's sleeping happily. Oh. Fuck him and his squirt gun. It's a Pichu. Oh, oh be careful. It hurts itself before it hurts you. It does. Uh. Uh. Oh, hey! Oh. It's a horsey pop. Oh, oh sweet! Why does it say. What? Just take it. Why does it say tro- uh, Trojan, Trojan horsey? horsey yeah. Smash Brothers has made me hate this guy so much. Yeah. So much. Well, look how cute he is. No. Fuck him. Bubbles was better, right? Oh, because what's this? Spit. What the hell? The 
Okay. For whatever reason, mm. I have this. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> is that a thing that happened? That's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> it is. He just has a very, like... Singular way of saying the word fuck, which is like, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Aaron, I bet you saw this box in the whole time thinking what could be inside. Is it Star Wars, Pokemon, Flamingo related, or a Porg? What about Taffy, even? It is a decorated box. Weird. True. But I had the stickers already, and what is life without some surprises? I don't know if you guys still want or collect pops anymore, but the thought occurred listening to Eric talk about the Trojan horse and the juxtaposi juxtaposition yeah. of the Trojan condoms in yes. a reaction discussion. Yeah, I said that. You knew that philosophical blind wave content. Uh, you know that you know that philosophical blind wave content. You can blame him for no Pokemon cards. No. I know you might have got your hopes up with that colorful, shiny paper, but those things aren't necessarily the easiest to find around here. Mm. Our Walmarts and Targets don't carry them on account of how much they are stolen, I found out, and our Walgreens seems to be out, too, because of their popularity. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. It's hard to find. Walgreens have Pokemon cards? They do. They're not usually the newest, or if they are, they're kind of like blister packs of, like, a booster. Yeah. Um, like our like Walgreens a special card. has Black Series Star Wars figures, but sure. it's like Jen or so. I've gone there. A lot it's like, of it's... motherfucker. 2016. Yeah, <laughs> I find some good stuff sometimes, but not yeah. all the time. Gotcha. Um, however, I did want to congratulate you on the new channel. I already subbed and liked your videos, Yay. much like with Blind Waves, which took weeks to do. By the way, apparently there is a limit to liking about 200 in a day. <laughs> okay, uh, didn't, didn't know that. I didn't know that. So. Uh, I hope, pioneers. It, hope yeah. it helps you all reach a million this year, and you guys deserve it, honestly. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, what did we pass? We're at like 730 on the Pokemonality, Ooh, like subscriber-wise. Nice. Which is cool. I'm hoping to hit the point to where it can get ad revenue, and I can use that ad revenue to pay an editor. <laughs> <laughs> <You got it. laughs> it may be weird. Uh, it may be weird, unusual to call people you rarely personally interact with or see your friends, although I would say you four are as much good friends as anyone else I see daily. Yeah. After all, we, are, we all are spending our precious time watching videos, sharing in your viewpoints. While not the same, I understand, I hope these little gifts and letters give some abatement of always being glued to the TV and talking uh, and taking notes. And to anyone listening, I can attest to you for being the same people behind closed doors, off screen, in public, as to who you are on screen reacting. I understand for if there is worse. no WaveCon 2022 this year, but a better question is what will you do when you hit 1 million subscribers? We postulated a few ideas. Postulation! They're all terrible. People want us to camp. Oh. Oh. How about... Let's just go chop down trees. We play Smash Brothers. Oh, God. You're just right. Nothing but that. We play a million matches. <laughs> How long would it take? This whole thing has been a scam just to get one million people to watch for Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. A million stocks. That's more reasonable. A million stocks. There are... A million stocks. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have ideas, but it's... Are we willing to do them? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'd rather camp and do all, jump out of a plane than shave my beard, I'll tell you that. Yeah? Yeah. We could jump out of a plane. Jump out of a plane. We could jump out of a plane? Because I'm going to jump out of a plane. I've never jumped out of a plane before. Maybe. I don't know. I think you guys would be fun because you guys are into, like, like, usually they have that guy with you that's strapped to you, you know? And I imagine that, like, there'll be the four of us and then there'll be four of them that have to strap and they all, like, run and try to grab Rick and Calvin and you and then one guy's like, damn it. All right, he straps onto me. You know, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> he's he's up. He's he's scared. Yeah, he's never scared before. He's fucking cussed a line. <laughs> room there. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I open that one, right? Yeah. So yes. I'll develop a plane. Oh. There, don't open anything. You just want that. Okay. 
already a hole for me to work from. This is to you, Rick. Uh, it did say Rick's name on Rick Martin. Uh, uh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, be careful not to tear the box within the box, because it is tight in there. Eric, we better film it if that happens. What? If you have to plane? If, if you have well, to yeah, plane, we're filming it oh, yeah. if we're jumping and, out and of the plane. And the guy's like, I'm sorry, Eric. You're like, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. You, my deck can be content. That's fine. <laughs> Icons of the realm. Icons of the realm. Rick, we want to see what it is. Shardland we don't want you Dragon. To, we don't want you to read it to us. Dragon. Pretend it's a picture book. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out. I want to see the pictures. Uh, uh, hold, please. Yes. Whoa. That's a, it's a big boy. Thick oh, look boy. at that. That's neat. Yeah. Look at that thick boy. What, is, what kind of dragon is he? He's like... Black and steely. He has like armor on. The Chardalin dragon is a construct. The evil suffusing the dragon's Chardalin body imbues the construct with malevolence, mm. allowing it to enjoy the terror it stokes. That makes sense, maybe. Being a construct, because it looks kind of armory or mm -hmm. metal y, metallic. -y. It looks like it's wearing the berserk armor. Kind of. It does. <laughs> it's really cool. It I is love sweet. the yellow gold glow, like underneath, like the, like the chinks in the armor. Get to find nine! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks sweet. Man, look at his face. It's face. Reminds me of something. Balkia. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I, you very much. Why would I relate a dragon to another dragon in Pokemon? I don't know. I get it. You didn't say who? I didn't see any notes or anything. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you. Very much. We have quite the dragon collection downstairs. Yeah, I, I want to. Maybe all of them from this line, at least. Yeah, and all of them from Benjamin, yeah. too. So this very well could be. But if not, thank you to whoever. Thank whoever. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever. Wherever. We are going to get dragons together. together. Alright, Eric, do I just hand it to you? No, it's yours, man. Are you it says sure? Elliot. Open but it. it's your turn. I bet you it's nothing but blister packs. What? Be, what? That would be so many <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's stuffed. It is. Stuffed to the gills. There's no air in there. You know, the, the one thing that's interesting, Eric, because like, we talk about like collection of stuff, too, and yeah. like, when people get something for it, it's like, well, you've lost the hunt side of things. Sure. The Pokemon cards. It doesn't matter. They're still the opening yeah, side. Yeah, you it's have too. the hunt. It's weird. Yeah. But there's also something like I remember going to Walmart the other, like not the other day, but recently. And usually I go there and like they don't have anything, so I just walk to the back because they have they have it in three spots. Yeah. Up in the front. Yeah. Behind the cigarette aisle. Yep. For whatever reason. And then they have it back in the toy aisle. Yep. And I went back to the toy aisle and I started looking, and they had so much stuff. I wish I had a cart. I just carried things. <laughs> I was like, why? So you're limited to like the number of purchases per person, right? But so it depends if it's in the cigarette aisle. Okay. At Walmart. So if it's on the shelves in the normal card section. Or back in the toy aisle, you can take it all. If Free you want. game, okay. baby. Doesn't matter. But what's behind the cigarette aisle? Yeah, for whatever reason, the, the Nickelodeon sweepstakes just like yeah. Throw it in those the ones specifically, they're like one at a time. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, I thought I cracked it. Like, well, you just go to the electronics place and check out there, and yep. then you go the yeah. tire center. Uh, tire yeah. center. Yeah. Uh, oh. I see. Uh, There's two of them. Uh, Much like before, with Venusaur. Oh shit. Dude, blister packs! I was right. Oh, oh! Evolving skies is in oh, here. Oh my goodness! Bro, oh. Stars, evolving oh. skies. These are uh, sword and shield. Oh, evolving skies. Yeah, brilliant stars is the newest one. What is this? <gasps> Hawaiian shirt. Whoa, that's perfect for you. I'm wearing this it's, today. Yeah, Whoa. it's a little an executor. <laughs> There's magic carp on there. I'm wearing that. He can't. You've you made him just remove his shirt. His shirt just burnt off, actually, <laughs> from excitement. <laughs> it's ashes. Dust to dust. It looks comfy. It feels like my other one. Yeah. That one looks really good. It does. It's a shirt you would wear in Hawaii. It is. I think you've got it wrong. You totally got Damn. it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's very low. <laughs> it clings to your chest. It looks good. It does. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's sweet. Oh, really good. Oh. Looks comfy. Looks like you're relaxed. It actually, it feels like, it feels like my, my Bulbasaur Venusaur one that's yeah. black with like the spots. Mm -hmm. It feels just like that. 
Yep. Awesome. That's sweet. Oh, all right, so this is a Vaporeon VMAX oh, box sweet. set. They're nice. really cool. They also come with the pins. There's a Vaporeon, a Jolteon, and a Flareon of these, and they all come with pins and stuff, too. We sh did we show you the other oh. pins we got before? The UV pins. I'm going to get this. I only ever saw them, no. Oh. Ah, speaking of the Flareon one, Jesus! Man, there's just booster, there's blister packs there's the hiding in there. Booster packs inside this. What's a booster and what's a blister? So a blister is, it's kind of like, ah, this is like a blister pack. When you have it like this and there's boosters and a card mm -hmm. and sometimes a coin. Yeah. It's so like this would be considered like a blister gotcha. pack. But it can be one booster in there, it could be three boosters in there, but typically that's a blister. This is a Glaceon one for Brilliant Stars. Sweet. Benjamin. And then there's these. Didn't he say like there's not much here? I know. There's the mystery packs. I've seen a lot of these. Okay. These ones here are like packaged by a third party. Yeah. So they could have. Usually they're like it's guaranteed one hollow or they're guaranteed packaged this or by that. by a third party. Yeah. Huh? So you never quite know what it's gonna be. I can tell what's from this one. To an extent, Turn right? Back. And you get this thing out. There's like something in here. How do you how do you do this? What is this? It's makeup! Oh, it's a palette. Cool. Eyeshadow palette. Blooming Pokemon. I mean, do that to Melody. For huh. Melody. But here's the Flareon one, and it has a Flareon pin. That's cool. I have, I have a Vaporeon. I found yeah. one of those at our Walmart local. Sure. I've yet to see one of these. Mm. That's actually what popped up. There was that, and an Eternatus VMAX, and a Reshram uh, Charizard tag yeah. team box. That was when Calvin and Carmen helped me get some stuff. Cool. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Here's another blister pack. Gotcha. So that's one. This is some of the stuff I've seen at like Walgreens too. Mm -hmm. is they will have like those kind of things. Oh. This is a dark Sylveon box. Sweet. From Celebrations. Oh, cool. What's this? Calvin missed a mailbag with so much of his favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> This is cool. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Starters. This is really cool. That's great. I love that. But I like this one better. <laughs> these are the all of evolutions. The look at those. Oh, I don't know, man. The next one. <laughs> this one is like a realistic kaiju. Wow. <laughs> that. I love amazing. The, uh, oh. There's a subreddit called Imaginary Venusaur, and it's nothing but stuff like this. There's like a Venusaur there. Yeah. Like, oh, look at him there. So that was Blastoise in a shell. Yeah. yeah. And then look at this Charizard Terrible Billboard. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, Can you imagine if that was just the world we lived in? Yeah, I love it. I'm be... so happy. Rodan. Catch him in Pokeball. Can you imagine catching that in a Pokeball? I mean, if, if Pokemon Go gave us any indication when it first, it first like, started, the world would be a chaotic huh. place. We both burn in the ocean. Oh, more brilliant stars. Okay. Sweet. Man, he used these as packing. How he does moved he, up from ramen. How does he get so much in a box? I don't know. Ooh, a hollow this Electro Buzz. This is mm -hmm. definitely from... This was CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens is across the street, right? This is definitely from Walgreens. I've gotten one Walgreens? of these before, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Two packs plus one bonus. And a pin or Fusion EX Strike, slash GX Darkness, card. Darkness, Battle Styles... This Brilliant is like stars. four videos for it. Chilling rain. <laughs> yeah. Another one of these ones. I'm going to have to do those and just do a whole, like, video on... Oh, they the like third-party packaging. Like, yeah, are these any good, and what do you get out of them, and what can you expect? Sure. Kind of and then a Jolteon one. Man, you got... Oh, I got all, the, all three of them. Oh, wow. Jeez. Jeez, Benjamin. Woo. I have to hang these up in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm <in> the bed. <laughs> Does I wake That's up first thing and see his Pokemon? It'd be great. <sighs> All right, let me see what Benjamin said with these ones here. Four evolutions right there. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I looked down and I didn't see Rick's eyes looking right at me. <laughs> Is that what happened? It's kind of terrifying. I, got, I just looked at you right at me. <laughs> All right. Hi, Aaron's. Hi, Aaron. It feels like there is a message or proverb to be made with these gifts. Maybe don't be silly. Wrap your willy. No, I don't think that was it. Uh, maybe more like it's not what's in what's on the outside, but what is on the inside that matters. Don't know about 
you, but the older I get and more people I meet, the more that couldn't be more true, my friend. Apologies not addressing this to you and Melanie, but that would be a dead giveaway to what's inside. It's true, it these are giveaway. hard to come by, but if you want to know, I found most of these at Cracker Barrel restaurants. What? What? We have a Cracker Barrel? We, we do. do. Let's go. Uh, it's like a half hour away, right? It's long. It's next to Kohl's? Uh, yeah, down cracker, that, it's down that way. Is it a Cracker Barrel in Parkersburg? It used to be down, if you go down 77... Towards yeah, the Coles and the, huh. the South Side Walmart. There's you definitely something was that Eric didn't. I, I was thinking about the one in Cambridge. Yeah. Take a half hour. Well, I don't know if the Cracker seven, Barrel seven. still is there, but I know it used to be there. Yeah. Okay. Believe it or not, even the plushies, the individual booster packs I found at the mall at Spencer's, hmm. Spencer's. the box lunch store. No, it's I don't know what that is, and books a million. <laughs> If that at all helps. I do know there's a bookstore in the mall, and they that's, sometimes get yeah. some Pokemon cards there and stuff. Yeah. But they say they usually sell out fast, and that's yeah. usually everywhere it sells out fast. Wow. It's crazy. Um, and what little free time is available to me these days, I've been catching up on your randomizer streams. Oh. Hang in there, Calvin. You'll defeat that first gym one day. <laughs> we just need to get you into a randomizer where you can start with an Oshawa. Basically a samurai, otter Pokemon. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, it's been lots of laughs watching. I say that as I am watching your guys' St. Patrick's Day stream, and Calvin is going full Gordon Ramsay <laughs> meltdown on the rice yep. in your overcooked game. Rice in the middle! <laughs> it doesn't seem like you've allowed yourselves to get as drunk as last time, to be honest. Rob, no. you need to put up the uh, meme that's in the podcast suggestions on Discord. It's is hilarious. There, is there a meme? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> No, stop. I like that. It is really good. Uh, no, I think part of it is like because it wasn't directly related to viewers on how drunk we got, it was t tapered better. And it was tempered 10 better. hours. It so was, we had to pace a little bit. It was yeah. more responsible. Versus like a uh, three or four hour stream we did before, and yeah. it was just like all of it right now. We got drunk too quick, too fast, and you never know what's going to happen when that happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, maybe everyone has gotten better at holding their liquor. That's true. I definitely have. Mm -hmm. Right, Eric? I don't know. Um, after, was... after the room reaction. <laughs> uh, can't say I'm much of a drinker myself these days either, though. Mm -hmm. However, I do enjoy a good mojito or sangria mm. on the right occasion. Speaking of the new gen for Pokemon is inspired by Spanish architecture. Which yep. We talked about that a little bit whenever yep. we watched the uh, trailer for it. Spain, like Mediterranean area. Yeah, we were trying to figure out like what it was going to be based on exactly. So, um, Iberian Peninsula. I remember you guys were trying to guess it a while back. It looks very Barcelona, uh, Iberian Peninsula style. If you look at uh, to uh, look to it, has a, has a, the look to it. Some place I personally want to travel one day. Not now though. Should be crazy in the world. Yeah. And thoughts and prayers out to everyone affected in Europe right now. Well, thank you, Benjamin. Really appreciate it. Yeah, this is. There's a lot of. This is a haul. A lot of stuff. It is here. a haul. Like, this man. is crazy. This is like. Brilliant stuff. This more or less than place. when you went to the. The. Uh, toy con. Oh, oh the toy expo thing. They had a lot. So. Oh, um, the one that Aaron went to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I. I don't know price wise. I came back with less. Yeah. Sure. But that's because they were uh, individual. Things, yep. not like booster packs of some of the newer stuff and whatnot. Man, I'm trying to. At the uh, Columbus here. Con that I went to, it was like at least ten or fifteen booths with nothing but this stuff. Really? Yep. Yeah. And obviously they also had open cards, you know. Sure. More, yeah. But they had uh, so much of these things. Oh, brilliant stars! Look at all these brilliant stars! You don't even know what's in this. No, I don't. It could be anything. Anything. I have one. I haven't opened it because I was waiting to do a video on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta get some videos done, Aaron. You gotta bite the bullet. Just use some of your Pokemon money to pay an editor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell Melanie, Melanie, we gotta film. Start yep. selling off the duplicates. Yep. And I'll give this to Melanie, too. I'm sure she'll like this. Yeah. That's this would be cool. All right. Is that the last one? That is everything. Guys, thank you very much for checking out this mailbag. And remember, you can go over and check out Aaron's Pokemon <laughs> channel, Pokemality, right here on YouTube. Yes. Uh... And uh, let me know what you guys want, because there's also other Pokemon stuff I want to do, too. I haven't done any of the game stuff yet. Yep. I should do game stuff on there. Game stuff. 
All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time. Thank you guys for watching and sending stuff in the mailbag. If you want to send something, there's a P.O. box down below with which you can also Pokemon. We are playing it live at twist.tv slash blindwave. Racing the four of us. You only see three here, but there's four of us usually. Uh, but he's so far behind that he couldn't make it to the mailbag. Yeah. yeah he's trying, guys. <laughs> <laughs>